first pair I've ever seen, and we get the adult ones all the time. Give me an idea of what you're looking to get out of them. I was hoping to get $8,000. If these signatures are legit, there's no question I can sell these. But I've got no idea what signed baby Jordan's are. There's nothing to compare them to. Hey. Do you have any pictures or Probably documents anyway. to back this thing up? Or Unfortunately, we didn't take a picture Please. of Michael signing the shoes. Do you mind if I have somebody come down and check out the signatures for me? Sounds fair to me. Let me go give him a call. Okay. I'll watch the Jordans for you. I have no problem calling in my second opinion. I was there. It was done in front of me, so let it happen. <laughs> Okay. So, what exactly do you got here? It's a World War II ammunition hand cart. Oh. All right, do you know much about it? It's a rusty old car with broken down tires. What else do you need to know? <laughs> Believe it or not, I got it out of a garbage pile. It looks like it belongs in a garbage pile. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know a lot about it. I thought it would make a cool flower pot, but then when I saw the placard on it with the date, I was thinking maybe this thing's worth some money. So how would this work? Would you like hook it up to a horse? I imagine there was a handle right there, but you would hook it up to a Jeep if you needed to, just moving stuff around. The thing's built like a tank. I mean, obviously it was built so uh, it could be shot. Do you know which company made it or anything like that? But there's a placard on it that just tells what area it came from. And we've got a um, hand carts and Rock Island Arsenal. It's from World War II, I imagine. Basically, every bit of industry is making something for the war. But you know, most people don't realize this. During World War II, there was no cars made for personal use. The saying was, stop making what you're making, start making stuff for the war. During World War II, America's policy was basically all hands on deck. Everyone was expected to help with the war. And a cart like this was an important piece of equipment. It could haul ammo, food, medical supplies. And in a pinch, you could throw a wounded soldier on it and bring him back from the battlefield. Fully restored, these things can fetch a pretty penny. So how much you want for this thing? I actually had it in a paper for sale with zero research. I put it